those who are new here, we bought this Sprinter van a couple of months ago in order to convert it into our new home on wheels. The plan for this van is to carry us to the sun and an adventure-filled life in Europe and beyond. So far, we've removed the rear ramp, the unwanted panels, tackled the rust, waterproofed the trims, installed a window, a max air fan, a skylight, a visor, built a new floor and swapped out the double seats. And now you join us here today on this glorious sunny day and we're going to look at some little jobs that need taken care of on this van. Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. I'm Adrian, single father to 13 year old twins John and Ella. Hi. Our journey began in Thailand where I used to work as an underwater cameraman and that's where I met their mom. Tragically we lost her during the birth in Bangkok. I later moved back to the UK to be closer to family. Now, nine years later, I'm home educating the kids and planning exciting adventures. I've always known the transformative power of travel and I want my children to experience it while they're still young enough to want to go with their old dad. We converted my trusty work van into a cozy camper van to embark on incredible journeys. Our future plan is to upgrade to a bigger van and make a more permanent home in Europe. Join us on our journey as we explore the world, learn and grow together. Now, if you were here last week, you'll remember that we built the entire interior out of cardboard, and that's obviously gonna have to be removed. But not before I mark on the walls where I'm gonna need all my electrics, because I bit the bullet and I've sent the money to get the first installment of my electrical kit. And that should be arriving later this week, and we can start wiring. And our trusty little Vivaro van that I use for work, and is also a camper, has gone in to get some work done on it, because I'm gonna be selling it soon, and I want it to be 100% for the next owner. Therefore, I have just insured this thing, and we're gonna start using it on the road. Which of course means we've got to take care of the tinny sound on the van by sticking on some of these sound deadening panels. I hope I've got enough. I have got a little bit of a diagram, a bit of a plan going on here as to where the electrics need to be. So we're gonna stick masking tape on the walls and write where things are gonna go. I spoke to the guys at Tiny Build Electrics, which is where we're getting the, the system from. Bits are gonna start arriving later this week really, so I'll be starting to wire hopefully next weekend. But in the meantime, for this video, we're going to be drawing these things on there, getting the cardboard out, and we're going to look at putting the sound deadening mats on. So yeah, let's get on with it. All right, so first of all, kitchen. So we're going to need a 240 volt socket there. Another bit. 12 volts. Give me more. Cabinet lights. Cooker ignition, which will be gas, but it'll have a click, 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 click ignition thing, which is there. So underneath this table, it's going to be a workstation. It's going to want a double 240 volt socket so we can plug two laptops in. Because this is going to have a wall cabinet that runs all the way to the bathroom, which is about here somewhere. One of them will be storage and kitchen things. The other one, I'm thinking, is going to be the place where we charge cameras and drones yeah. and things like that. Drone, microphones, camera, possibly general stuff. All the general stuff. And maybe want to have like six USB ports in there, like yeah. a lot of them. I am thinking here, fan. Bathroom light. Cabinet lights. I do wonder, you know, whether or not to put some sockets inside here as well. Because this is going to be a big shelf on here. Yeah. Um, and we might, there's things like torches. Maybe they go on this side over here. Because these cabinets will come along here, yeah? Yeah. So then this shelf we build in here will have a door here. Yeah? That would be wise. So that, that would be tucked in and around the corner. There's some USBs out of the way. So obviously here for the fan. Into Ella's bed. We need the L. Go and get the L. Tell her I need her just for two minutes. Okay. Right, it's going pretty well. Um, there's little bits of blue tape all over the van. It looks like there's going to be so much wiring to do, but that's okay. I would rather have the redundancy and have extra sockets kicking around in cupboards and out of the way and extra wires for lights in case we decide to fit lights. If we don't, we can always pull wires back out. It's going to be much harder to put them in after we've put the walls on. So I'm just getting Ella so we see which side of the bed she wants her head at and that will dictate where her shelf is, where she'll keep like her phone, her laptop and stuff like that. Uh, her tablet, sorry, not a laptop. And then I'm going to make sure she's got USB ports and charging stations for all that and a little reading light, of course, as well. That's a lot to think about. <laughs> what we need to know, darling, yeah. which side do you think you are more likely to want to put your head at? Because that will determine where we put all the electrics. Now, this side's gonna be next to the toilet and the shower. Yeah. That side's next to nothing, really. I'd like, um, 
it to be this side. You want your head at that side? Yeah. So that would feel like your bed you have now. To get out of it, you still get out the same way. Yeah. So that feels familiar. Yeah. Done deal? Brilliant. We were talking about up in the top having some fairy lights around or something like that, yeah? Um, I mean, yeah, like, um, say like down below as well, I can't really remember much. No, nothing below, sweetie. Yeah, that's, um, I don't know, this is confusing. That's all right, I've got it, I've got it covered, okay? Okay. That's all right, I just needed to know which side you wanted your head, that was all. Okay. All right, darling. Okay. Thank you, bye-bye. Right, well that was worth bringing Elle down because I had it in my head with uh, that her head would be on the other side. She wants it on that side, so I'm going to put all the sockets and lights and blah 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 over there for her. I might put one little socket on the other end for a fan because I think she might need a fan in there at some point as well. So yeah, I'm not going to film any more of me sticking bits of tape to the side of the van because that's not interesting. <laughs> I'll pick up with you in a bit. Bye bye. <laughs> I can't say I'm happy about that. <laughs> I know it was only made out of cardboard, but I got used to it. I really quite liked it being there, but I can't get any work with it there, can I? So uh, it had to be. <laughs> Hello. So yeah, we got that done. And then we just floated around and enjoyed having a van. I took Ella out for a little drive to buy some treats for the cat so we could feed the cat in here. And we've just been kicking about and enjoying the sunshine and hanging around the van with some music on so we've got nothing done so i'm afraid this video is gonna to have to pick up uh later because the little van's not coming back i'm gonna to have to use this thing for work look there's all my tools ready to shift to the job site tomorrow i did however get a few more of these done so i have got stickers everywhere where I think um, we're gonna need power points. I'm pretty sure that that's not gonna be everything. Uh, there's a lot of other things in the garage area. There's gonna be the water pumps, the, the boiler. I've also got to think about externals. I wanna put a light bar up here at the front. Excuse me. I wanna put a little, a couple of reversing spots at the back. Um, obviously the solar cables will be coming through. But, oh, I've got some small lights to go on the outside here so for on a night it will shine down over here i've also got to think i was wanting to put security cameras around all these things are going to have to be wired in and drilled through and oh my god there's a lot to think about whoa so i think what's going to happen is i'm just going to get back to work tomorrow i'll see if any of my packages arrive this week and i can start getting some wires in um, but it's all a bit up in the air. So anyway, I'll pick up with you next time I pick up with you. Take it easy. Right, I told you I'd pick back up with you and things are getting exciting. Packages. I am clearly straight back from work and we've had some rather large things delivered today while I wasn't here. Now, I wasn't going to unbox them, unbox them without showing you guys. Should we have a little look what's in these boxes? Yep. Okay, let's do it. So first of all, this one actually arrived uh, yesterday and we did open it because we couldn't wait. And I managed to res keep myself reserved on the other ones. This one is just uh, solar cable, digital multi-control, which I'll be honest, I don't know what that's for. Blade fuse holder and what looks like an ethernet cable. And these are all nice Victron. This is all Victron equipment. What are those? Fuses? Mega fuse. Mega fuses. So that's that little box. And what we have to do is we're going to be... You can't see me there, can you? We've got the, the list here from the quote, uh, the invoice from uh, Tiny Build Electrics. It's Tiny Build Electrics that we've gone with. 
and they've done everything for us in a big package deal and I've got to start checking these things off the list to make sure that they're all arriving. And I think we're not even close to having it all yet, but we're going to see what's in this big box next. Do you want to open the big one? Yes. Let's do it. Right then, what have we got in here? Ah, right, there's a list here of everything that's in. There we go. So, is that a sticker? Tiny Build Electrics for all your tiny build needs. Ooh. Right, conduit, which I already do have some of, but we can give or sell some to Sally. Oh, look at these heavy duty, uh, heavy duty wire cutters. This is something I, thank you. <laughs> Which is something I don't own, so uh, we've chucked that on the list as well. Wires, it's wires. A whole box of blade fuses. That's brilliant. So that's going to be uh, that'll get its own. Little storage place in the van for when we set off. Oh, look at that. Look, hold it up to the camera. Okay. What's in this then? All oh, right, a whole bundle of things. Cable ties and sticky back, uh, what's it, pads for the cable ties to fit to. And we've got another fuse holder. Some tape. Another fuse holder. What have you got there? That looks like interesting stuff. Um, More fuses. So Lugs. power consumer unit. Oh really? Ah, right, okay. Wow, massive lugs. Big, big lugs for the ends of the uh, cables. Right, it's a whole bunch of little bits in there. I'm not going to show you it all. Let's look at the fun stuff, John. So this is a consumer unit, which is essentially the big fuse uh, board. Just like you have in your house, really. But did it say it's for the solar, this one? Um, I didn't read. There we go. Oh, shore power, it says. Oh, shore power, yeah. So that's for the shore power. Whoops, that was loud. So when we get the uh, cable to hook up on a campsite or whatever, or plug it in at the house, this is our big breaker box for that. That is a big weighty piece of kit, that. Ah, now. That is a gland. That's a gland for the solar panels on the roof. Now, to be fair, I'd have probably gone with a black one. I never actually spoke to them about that. But they're a fairly inexpensive thing, so we'll see. See if we uh, change that one. No biggie, no biggie, no biggie. In fact, again, that's something that Sally could probably use because her van's white, so that's good. What's next? What are these little fellas? They are brackets. Those are the solar panel brackets. Not much to show you there, really. Just little metal brackets, so there's three lots of those. Go on, next big box, John, what we got? This box contains another consumer unit. See what this one's for. Another big heavy consumer unit. Please label circuits. I'm not sure, this might be just for everything, this one, I'm not sure. Uh, but Tiny Build Electrics, what they do, they include in the price of everything, is that I've got a really detailed wiring diagram about where all these components go, what they do. You also get a massive booklet uh, to read through about everything to do with van electrics, van um, electric safety, what everything does, why it does it. And so I'm gonna learn loads over these coming weeks. What you got there, dude? Um, disconnected DC PV. A what? Whatever the hell this is. Whatever the hell this is. There you go. You do that. I'll do this. My Christmas present. Ah, that looks like a big kill switch for possibly for the solar. Do I open this? Hey. What? Has this been opened? Yeah. I've opened it. Yeah, I'm putting it back together now. I want you to close it again. That is a very very big. Isolator, big isolation switch. I think that's for the solar, but don't hold me to that. But I think that's to uh, isolate the solar panels. And that's it. That's everything out of that box. That was exciting, wasn't it? 
Uh, ooh, should we open the solar panels? Yes. Let's open the solar panels, dude. Yep. So, these are 250 watt solar panels. We've got two of them, so obviously 500 watts of solar, which should be enough to keep us off grid for a very long time. Ooh, here we go. Look at this thing, it's huge. Unveiling. It's, it's broken. It's completely shattered. Oh, well, that's not a good start, is it? It's completely broken. Right, we better check the other one. Oh, well, we weren't fitting those anytime soon, I don't think, anyway. Let's pull this one out. Right then, here we go. Let's do another one. So, stand it up. <laughs> Let's try the other one. Pull the box, John. And... It's okay. That one's good. We've got one good solar panel. Right, I'm gonna contact uh, Tom immediately. Now, like I said, um, Tiny Builder Electrics, they've been fantastic so far. I'm dealing with Tom, who's the owner of the company. What they do is, these have come straight from the solar panel company, so it's their problem, but I'll have to go through Tom, I'll contact him immediately. But otherwise, everything else is looking great. We'll get back to you soon. And just like that, as promised, we are two days later. New solar panels arrived. So we have now got two good solar panels. We also have the broken one, if anyone would like it, because the company refused to take it. We'll tell you more about those later. Uh, I have written a snotty letter to them. If they get back to me and they offer to take it, all good. If they don't, I'm going to name and shame. There's just been packages galore going on here. We have had samples arriving of the furniture board. We'll tell you all about that in another video, but this is the furniture board that we might use. It's very expensive. We might use it to build the furniture, keep the weight of the van down. We have samples of the four-way stretch carpet. We've got a, another package here and another big box oh, has arrived here. So I think this is the last of the uh, electrics. I hope it is, I really hope it is. Not just something else completely random that I've ordered and forgotten about. Which, let's be honest, that happens all the time. That's a box in a box. Oh no, what are you? Oh! I think these are the seat swivels. Now, earlier in the video, I said if these arrive, I will add them into this video. I'm not going to add them into this video. I'm sorry. We don't have time. Uh, we've still got to get the uh, sound deadening mats on and we've got another box to open over there. But uh... John seems to think it'd be funny to do an unboxing video in a box. Let me know in the comments if John's funny. <laughs> I thought you had armholes. <laughs> right, a very quick sneak peek at these. Oh, that. That way up. Oi. Nice. That is a swivel for the front and the passenger seat. But that's all you're getting to see until next week's video, sorry. And finally, in this box is some more of the sound deadening pads because I know I didn't have enough. I hope I've got enough with this second box full, but we will see, won't we? Oh dear. We have got the sound deadening mats. We've got two different brands. Uh, this one is the one we ordered before. I'm not gonna recommend this to you because when it arrived, it had bubble wrap all over it, which has just got stuck to the bitumen tar-like stuff that is the sticky back. That is a pain, can't get it off. The ones that just arrived today, they are in a box, and as you can see, they're not stuck to each other. So if you're looking for some of this stuff, I'm gonna drop a link for this one down below. So you can go and grab some of those over at Amazon. Otherwise, should we get on with this, get them done? Yep. Right, actually, you think I'd be better organised than this, wouldn't you? You know, doing the sort of work I do. I've just gone around and counted up all the panels and how many we need. And it's an absolute bare minimum of 20 per side of the van. And we've got two boxes of 20. So we can literally only just do it. 
That means there's none for the ceiling, but I don't know if we need it or not. I'd be interested in your opinion. Drop it in the comments. Greg Virgo, the man, the myth, the legend, he says, when it's got ridges in it like this, you don't need the sound deadening because that's what those do. And to be fair, that's quite a dull sound compared to the tinniness of those walls over there. But then I see people completely covering their walls and ceiling in the stuff. So tell me, drop it in the comments. We're just basically gonna put out as many as we've got. And if we stand back, look at it and think, well, we can squeeze a few more in, then I'll maybe order some more. But I'll be honest, we've been driving this van around now for about a week, and it's really quite quiet anyway for a van compared to the little one, which before we soundproofed that, sound dead and that, that was a really rattly, rattly little thing. So we'll see how I feel after we put some on. Yeah, John is painstakingly pulling this bubble wrap off these ones, which were awfully packed. How's it going, mister? Good. This stuff is incredibly sticky, incredibly, incredibly sticky. So we shall do it like this, from the top like that, and peel it out and push it down like that. Then what we do have, this is a wallpaper roller, uh, which is nice and hard. And we can roll this on nice and firmly to make sure there's no air pockets behind and squish out all that bitumen stuff. Hello. See how you're getting on? We are getting I watched on. Your video the other day. Oh, did you? Yeah, yeah. Very, very good. Which one was that? The cardboard one? Yes. Oh, that was fun. One. Dedication. <laughs> <laughs> so that's my lovely neighbour Sue. And I know you're watching Sue. She was just talking about it then. She likes to watch the videos. Um, Sue's the lady who feeds the cat when we go away, but this time when we finally leave, we're taking the cat with us. So that, with the roller, gets the last of the uh, any air pockets out of there. And I don't know if you can pick up the sound difference there. Quite a bit of difference. But from what I understand, we don't need it here, but people get carried away and put it everywhere. We're gonna have insulation over the top of this, and then we're gonna have uh, the vapor barrier, if we go down that route, comments please. Uh, and then there's gonna be whatever walling we put on top of it. So it's not gonna be a noisy ride. It already isn't a noisy ride with nothing in it. So anyway, John, yep. let's do it. Let's finish this. <laughs> Right, so we figured out, because it's this wonderful British summer we're having, these things were too cold and the bitumen stuff on the back was really hard and it wasn't sticking very well. Heat gun. And then, if you can see here, it's very difficult to peel now. It's a bit gooey. There we go. And then that is really sticky now. So we just peel it back a little bit like we were doing before. Pop it where we want it. Like that, peel it out from behind, like that, stick it down, air pockets out like that, then get the little roller. So as with everything, when you're building a van, you don't have a clue what you're doing until you've about finished the job, then you know how to do it, but then you finish the job. So if you're ever building a second van, you're great. Look at this young man cleaning up, isn't he good? Yes he is, yes he is. So. We are done. I want your opinions. Do you think that's enough? There's space for more. Could have put two next to each other, if we had any more. We have run out and we've literally got like that little bit there that got missed and one uh, little bit on the back door down there. Now, I have seen actually people, when they take the header down, which we will be doing at some point, 
doing all in there as well. There is some factory ones in there, but we'll probably put some of our own. So I'm probably gonna order another pack as it is, and then I can fill in these gaps and just use up. Oh look, there's one there as well. <laughs> okay, three bits missing, plus there. So we're ordering another pack anyway, but I do want your opinion. Do you think that this would be enough on these panels? Obviously not there, we're gonna be on another window there. Would that be enough? I think it sounds like it is. Sounds really good to me, to be perfectly honest. But I, like I say, I've, had, I've seen people on YouTube absolutely covering it. Opinions, please. So we're going to end the video there this week. It has been a bit of a roller coaster. There's been a bit of this, a bit of that. The unboxing, which was all over the place with the broken panel and everything, but we got there in the end. And we got the sound deadening done. I do want your opinions on that, like I said, so comments below, please. But all that's left to be said is thank you so much once again to everyone out there. There are thousands of people watching these videos now, but only a hundred or so liking it. So if you can hit the like button, that'd be a big help. And we'll see you all next week. Bye bye.